hey guys good morning um i think it's clear that i just woke up um nevertheless welcome back to my channel um if you knew welcome or most of you are new so welcome um and if you've seen the last two videos thanks again for tuning in um and thank you so much for being patient with me um so today i have quite a few things that i need to do i just received an sms right now from postnet that i my parcel has arrived i i ordered some lashes from a friend of mine um she sells lashes uh, makeup you know the works she's also a makeup artist i'll put her handle somewhere somewhere yeah sophie shout out to you my friend and thank you so much for hooking a girl up um so these lashes are the ones that i i am giving away on my late my previous video so i'm sure by then you would have seen the video so these are the lashes that i ordered so that i can be able to give them away to you just to show my gratitude and just to say thank you for those of you who have been very patient with me my dog is always with me so sorry guys like i'm sure so yeah let me not run i'm gonna um, request um a cab right now then i'm gonna go get the parcel i think that's all i'm gonna do and then um a friend of mine is gonna come we're gonna be recording um a spicy noodle tag challenge that's also one of the challenges and one of the um videos or whatever that i've always wanted to do so yes that's what i'm gonna be doing today we're gonna quickly record the spicy noodle challenge it's probably even gonna be part of this video because i don't think i have anything in my mind other than that that i want to post um so yeah i'm trying to be as consistent as i can because like i don't want you guys to forget me you know i, I just want to stay as relevant as i am at the moment so i also just think it's best that i put in the work you know oh my god my lips are so patchy yeah anyway i'll catch you guys at post knit welcome back to my channel once again i am actually so excited to record this video in as much as it's very simple and very straight to the point and very boring very cliche i feel like it's essential that i do this video because i want you guys to get to know me i want you guys to know where i'm from what i do you know all those kind of things that can actually make us connect so um in my previous attempt to start a youtube channel i had asked my followers on instagram what they would like me to answer for my youtube channel as a q a video so i still have those questions from last year 
and I just felt like it was very unnecessary to ask them to tell me what they, they would like to know about me on my Q&A video so I I archived the questions so because I'm using um, my phone to record I saved the the questions on my laptop so I'm gonna use my laptop to um, ask the questions I mean to look at the questions and then answer them so first thing first uh, this is my favorite beer favorite 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 beer so so I'm gonna start by reading the questions to you and then I'm just gonna answer them so the first question is what course are you studying and uh, which school do you oh. so this person basically wants to know uh, what I do in terms of academics um, yeah and also which school I go to university that is okay I am a final year BA communication studies student and I major in history I attend okay I go to Northridge University in the Val campus how do you deal with toxic friends I think I don't deal with that I don't think I have a reason to be dealing with toxic friends um, and I, I don't like drama so I just like push myself away I just keep my distance and like I don't have much to say about toxic friends because I just don't really get to me I just move away because it's not something that I can actually handle and if I feel like someone is not for me then I just realize what is for me so by realizing what is for me I just move away because those are the kind of people that you you don't need in your life and I think I've reached a point where I'm just like I'm not gonna deal with anything that is beyond me I'm not gonna do that so I don't deal with it I just you know I just distance myself because I get at the drama I get at the drama next question is how did you and your friends become friends um okay we were not friends um we knew each other since our first year um she was friends with people that i knew so in that manner we just like miraculously became a circle and i think we we realized that oh my god we actually like the same things um we like the same lingo um we got along like we just liked the same things and in that manner we just clicked so that's why now she's my heartbeat like we've been through a lot together but in all honesty <clears throat> sorry in all honesty um i think our friendship like we were meant to find each other because there are a lot of things that i could not do with that I could share with her you know yeah so more than anything we just really found each other and I think it was the right time for us to find each other yes. so let me move wow this is a lot um, let me move on to why are you always posting alcohol Minangkandupia. <laughs>
like you just never know with people i think a few months ago i posted my boyfriend for the first time and someone asked me are you not afraid that people are gonna wish you bad and why don't you hug up in your why like i think maybe none to do i didn't give you like i i don't involve myself or i don't think about anything that is not gonna push me forward so if i'm gonna be afraid to do something because i'm scared that the next person is gonna uh wish bad for me or talk talk down on on me or for me whatever then it means that i'm living my life based on other people's perceptions based on other people's uh, uh judgments uh bubble. like girl i do what i gotta do i do what i want at that time and just because um people have ugly hearts does not mean that um those like that ugly heart or or all the bad wishes are, are a direct projection like on me are gonna be directly projected on you no like you don't allow certain things to get to you i think that's the magic of it all like i do not allow in as much as there are some things that get to me but i just i i, I stand up i dust myself off and i move forward so also with like this this reminds me with the youtube channel i was like i did not have the confidence honestly i was like i was wondering what what are people gonna say about me what if no one watches then i realized Hore, who am i doing this for i'm doing this for myself and whoever watches will watch and whoever does not then it's still okay because i think Besides me lacking the confidence, I actually realized that this is something that I like and this is something that I would really enjoy. So here I am and I think I'm very proud of myself. You know, like imagine where I'd be if I was worried about what other people are gonna say or who's gonna watch and who's not gonna watch so don't do that to yourself girl so the next question is i'm not gonna like some of these questions are a repetition so i think i'm just gonna scroll down and see okay um the next question is quite simple and not really simple like when you think about it like this is just one of those questions where you undermine them and when it's time to answer you're just like girl like <laughs> what's happening where do you see yourself in the next five years okay um i think for now i am still finding myself and to not put myself under pressure i I jot down or I plan short term goals for myself and I think those are the goals that are actually gonna move me to the pivotal or to the main big goal that I have planned for myself so for now I am focusing on the short short term goals that I have for myself and then I think those goals will make me realize where I actually want to um, head in life like um i think what i've always been struggling with is finding myself or knowing myself um i think what affected me the most was my mental health um it got to me to a point where my mind was just on a total shutdown when i looked in the mirror i did not know who i was and it became really difficult for me because um i lost a part of who i was actually who i thought i was you know so i was putting a lot of pressure on myself and i think one of my biggest fears is not succeeding in life 
so I would always put myself under pressure always worrying about um, getting to the end you know I'd be like okay my friends have succeeded and here I am who am I what am I doing with my life so I have in as much as it, it gets to me at times I think I've passed that point where I'm trying to um, compare my progress my life with other people so I think that's one of the things that has affected me the most so hence I found a solution which was to um, plan or jot down those short-term goals that will eventually those are my stepping stepping stones to actually get to where I want to be so you can say YouTube is part of the short-term goal so I've, I've accomplished the goal so for now I'm gonna be focusing on bettering myself in terms of YouTube and then as time goes on then I tackle my second short-term goal so that's how I do it like that's how I better myself in life because I don't think it's necessary for me to always be putting myself under pressure Whereas, whereas I know that I have so much potential to actually be the best that I can be. So, everything takes time. So, yeah, man. I think I'm going to myself in five years would have accomplished more than what I've actually planned for myself. Whew, that was overwhelming. But I'm glad that I did it, you know. Like this YouTube thing is actually, it's not as easy as I thought it was. Like it's not because after recording, I have to make sure that I edit because sometimes I record then I don't edit and then the next day I'm just like, okay, I don't like this video. So, so yeah. Um, I think this will be the end of my short video i tried um sometimes i struggle a lot to speak because of my anxiety you know but i'm just hoping that i was able to articulate myself and i hope that you guys got to understand what i was actually trying to say by answering the questions so Thank you for watching once again guys and i will definitely or hopefully catch you on my next video um i think you guys have noticed that i have been posting quite like consistently because i have time so why not just entertain you guys so for now i will love and leave you and thank you so much for those who have been very patient with me those of you who have been supporting me those of you who have been um sharing my videos liking them commenting thank you so 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 much guys it means quite a lot to me so i will definitely catch you on my next video let me love and leave you once again